As you know, this country is engaged in the biggest and fastest vaccination programme in our history, and the chances are that you know someone personally who has already received a vaccine. But it would be fatal if this sense of progress were now to breed any kind of complacency, because the pressures on the NHS are extraordinary. On Tuesday, we saw 4,134 new admissions to hospital on a single day, the highest at any point in this pandemic. There are now more than 37,000 COVID patients in hospital across the UK. And in spite of all the efforts of our doctors and nurses and our medical staff, we're now seeing cancer treatments sadly postponed, ambulances queuing, and intensive care units are spilling over into adjacent wards. And with 55,761 positive cases since yesterday, and very sadly, 1,280 deaths, this is not the time for the slightest relaxation of our national resolve and our individual efforts. So please stay at home, please protect the NHS and save lives, and please remember that this disease can be passed on not just by standing too near someone in a supermarket queue, but also by handling something touched by an infected person. And remember also that one in three people with COVID have no symptoms, and that's why that original message of hands, face, space, washing your hands is as important now as it has ever been. And it's precisely because we have the hope of that vaccine and the risk of new strains coming from overseas that we must take additional steps now to stop those strains from entering the country. So yesterday we announced that we're banning flights from South America and Portugal and to protect us against the risk of as yet unidentified new strains we will also temporarily close all travel corridors from 0400 hours on Monday. Following conversations with the devolved administrations, we will act together so this applies across the whole of the UK. This means that if you come to this country, you must have proof of a negative COVID test that you have taken in the 72 hours before leaving, and you must have filled in your passenger locator form, and your airline will ask for proof of both before you take off. You may also be checked when you land and face substantial fines for refusing to comply. And upon arrival, you must then quarantine for 10 days, not leaving your home for any reason at all, or take another test on day five and wait for proof of another negative result. And we will be stepping up our enforcement both at the border and in country. And it's vital to take these extra measures now when, as I say, day by day, hour by hour, we are making such strides in protecting the population. We've now vaccinated over 3.2 million people across the UK, doubling the numbers of last week. That's 2.8 million people in England, 225,000 in Scotland, 126,000 in Wales, and 115,000 in Northern Ireland. Yesterday alone, we vaccinated around a quarter of a million people in England, and that is still far more than any other country in Europe. And with almost 45% of our over 80s now vaccinated, and almost 40% of care home residents, we are steadily protecting those most at risk. And I pay particular tribute to the vaccination efforts going on in Cockermouth in Cumbria, Yately, uh, in, and Cheltenham, uh, where they vaccinated around 90% of their over 80s uh, in their communities. And I also pay tribute to Northwest Lincolnshire, to Sunderland and Morecambe Bay, where vaccination teams have protected over 80% of their care home residents. And it's thanks to that amazing constellation of the vaccination teams, doctors, nurses, uh, armed forces, local authorities, pharmacies, volunteers, that we're steadily building up that immunity, that protection for the vulnerable, for the NHS, and for us all. So when the call comes, please do get a jab. And in the meantime, stay at home, protect the NHS, and save lives.